Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain uh, explosion fx is more complex and it has more setting uh, of explosion. Insert a, a sphere, I explained to, with the sphere, mm, change its types, increase its segment, and select that and hold shift and click on explosion fx to make a child and as you can see it we apply there it has a lot of tabs here i explain them one by one the first tab is object in the object we have something called time when you uh, change this slider the explosion will be happen in the time i for using it uh, uh, to use is uh, in the simplest way i make it animation with that you can simply go into the timeline here make your indicator in a, <clears throat> a zero frame and simply click on this dot and going your indicator to for example this frame and go it back uh, increase it to the 100 and uh, click again as you can see if i change this slider in indicator in the timeline I can animate the explosion. Okay, I make it smoother. If I scroll that indicator, the uh, explosion will be happen. Okay, that's nice for me now. As you can see, we have a, a three area: green area, a red area, and a blue area. The green area is a explosion wave. When the green area hit the surface of the object, they will explode and uh, become the particle like this. And another thing that you can see, we have a cluster. So we have first, we explain first tab, we go into the cluster. The cluster uh, control all of this particle and port, uh, polygon that we have explode like this. As you can see, we have the thickness. Interesting happen when we when we increase or decrease the thickness. If you increase the thickness, as you can see, they are very thicker, and something happened because they are thicker. They are very, they are very heavier, and because of they are heavier poly, uh, polygon, and the blaster wave cannot affect them very much because they are very heavy. If you reduce the thickness, they are very lighter and lighter and lighter, and they are through. Uh, f more far from the <clears throat> center because they are very really light and uh, this green area the, or the explosion way throw them far so it's thickness you can when you want to back to default right click on this arrow any uh, number in the cinema 40 right click to that and we have a variation. The variation is on all the settings. The variation is random of the above setting. For example, if you have an, uh, if you <coughs> increase the variation, as you can see, we have a variation thickness of the object. Okay, it is interesting sometimes. And the interesting part is density. You can increase the density as you can see something happen. They also make um, heavier and more dense objects. As you can see, they are, uh, we have an, uh, in this um, explosion fx, we have a gravity. As you can see, gravity, gravity affect them because they are very dense. The gravity affect more on them and they are, uh, fall down very soon as you can see you can change the density of objects right click to uh, back to default and you can uh, add a random to the density some of the objects are more dense and some of the distance and we have a cl uh, cluster type you uh, in automatic in automatic we have something like this uh, the software uh, connect some po polygon to each other in a various number in here in a polygon max on polygon mean for example in a mean we make it two in a max we make it three 
or four. As you can see, it's <clears throat> maximum three. It means that the software or explosion common uh, connect just three uh, polygon at the maximum or two and the two maximum at the two polygon at the minimum. If you uh, increase it to four, we have the four uh, polygon. We don't have any five polygon connected to each other. You can right click to make it default. Okay, you can uh, define a minimum, my maximum polygon with automatic mode. Okay, for uh, other mode, we have a polygon. As you can see, we just uh, explode the polygon of <coughs> object. Any polygon that the object has, it explodes. It does not connect each other. For mask, we have to make a selection. You have to make it edited. But unfortunately, you can you can you cannot zoom use um, correction for access the polygon. You have to make it real editable. And you can editable, and now you can access the polygon. We select some polygon like this with a live selection, holding shift to select some polygon like this. As I said before, going to selection menu and store the selection. Click anywhere to deselect all and we have the selection here. You can refer to the selection lessons. I explained them in detail. Going to the explosion and you can uh, <coughs> click and drag this selection to the mask. As you can see, if we going to use the selection or for example, automatic, as you can see, <clears throat> just the selection polygon will be explode. When we automatic, automatically uh, connect or disconnect some of the polygons. Or you can hit it polygon. It's explode the, uh, explode the, as you can see, the polygons, each polygon individually. If you select use selection tag, it just uh, explode the selection tag as a one object because it's heavy it fall down very soon very quickly if you use selection tag and polygon the selection tag also the polygon will be explode together for deleting that select them and hit backspace on your keyboard and click anywhere to delete that and bring back to automatic okay Oh, sorry, bring back the selection. If you go into automatic or a just selection use tag, use unselected is active now. It means if you uncheck that, uh, the unselected part will be uh, affected by gravity and fall down. If you tick it fix, it fix in position. <clears throat> Okay, now delete it and back it to the automatic and disappear. Disappear as you can see if I uh, make explosion and all the particles or polygon fall down <coughs> to the 100. As you can see, they are fall down. They do not disappear. But if you click this dis disappear, you have uh you have to what you have choose what kind of the disappear uh, type you want time by time or by distance for example i want to uh, start disappearing from 10 centimeter to uh, for example 50 centimeter <clears throat> as you can see they are disappearing no make it smaller as you can see they are disappear change the number to your desire sitting <clears throat> or you can change it by distance or you can set it by zero from zero they are beginning to disappear to for example this number if you want to the particle break, uh, remain more you can increase the number <clears throat> or increase the number like this or you can change it by distance you have to be careful about the distance because you have to change it as you can see reduce 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 from zero no as you can see the 
this number is not good now make it to 10 centimeter to a higher number as you can see to disappear to this number if you want to remain more increase that number don't worry about the number just see what happened in your viewport okay and disappear but time is better now okay untick that i want to be uh, i need all of polygons to main retain okay another tab is explosion you can control the explosion here as strings when you increase the strings you can uh, explode up the polygon more and decay any decay means how a smooth or with a fall of that sitting above will be happen to the object for example you can decay in uh, some objects these uh, strings will be uh, in a, um, <coughs> a smooth survey affect uh, um, these particles or these polygons the variation means how random this decay will be affect the strings direction you can define uh, in which direction all of the polygons will be throw out for example you choose only x as you can see the <coughs> polygon explode only in x when you select only settings the linear setting will be appear here if you click that we have this effect that does not any uh, exist any polygon inside the red uh, in green area they're going to outside because the linear is active you can select uh, except y it means it through all of the polygons except in y-axis so bring it to all direction and you can change the variation as you can see you can change the variation of the direction the time uh, the blast time is a boost or a helper for ex uh, strings okay you can increase it to more explosions the help uh, strings the blast spe uh, speed is control uh, speeding of that uh, red uh, green area that blast wave for example i am in a 10 or 11 or 10 a frame as you can see the position of the green uh, area is this if you increase the speed as you can see i'm still in that a frame but uh, uh, the green area travel more space travel more distance you can change the speed this is the speed of the movement of the green area and you can uh, control the decay of that the variation of decay that control the blast speed there are dependent on each other the blast range is that red area the blast range if this red area from the center to the area of this red the blast way or the uh, explode effect will be affect that will be affect the uh, polygons and after that they uh, the effect release them okay we have the explosion in in this area after that the explosion uh release the polygons and the gravity effect them you can variation that another tab is gravity acceleration we have the real world uh gravity force in this number if you increase it we have more gravity if you set it zero we have no gravity an explosion go all direction and does not fall down right click to the that number this is variation uh, if you you can randomize the gravity and the direction of gravity is uh, uh, negative y drop down or you can positive y you are falling up as you can see or change any direction that you want x so the negative y is correct and the range this is uh, green uh, um, this blue area is the range of the gravity means the gravity effect affect the polygon uh, till the till that area that's blue area and after that release the polygons but we have gravity uh, 
the force of the gravity will be affect till this uh, blue area and after that release the polygons and they fall down <coughs> we have a rotation tab as you can see we can uh, uh, explode and uh, rotate or exploding and rotating also you can change the speed here uh, in, in if increasing number we have more rotation then the decay means how fall off or smooth this rotation will be happen if you increase that the rotation will be not happen suddenly it's smoothly rotate to the end and you can randomize that decay that control the speed you can rotate axis in which axis that you want and you can variate the rotation in any axis that you want the special tab we have something called wind it's affect the z-axis only you can uh, make positive or negative number as you can see we have a wind from that direction if you play your animation as you can see we have a wind that goes in this way particle uh, flow flow from this direction and below from this direction and you can change it change its strengths you can uh, randomize the wind speed on the polygon some of them affect more some of them affect less and the interesting part is you can right click to set it zero we have a twist as you can see it twists the explosion like tornado and you can randomize the twist for particles polygons some of them twist more some of them twist less okay this is explosion fx this is interesting you can use it in your project hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release